Hi, Caleb and Steve here, back with another edition of Smithbusters, and today we're taking a look at the myth that a suppressor will make your rifle less accurate. Uh, I hadn't uh, heard of less accuracy with a suppressor. Nobody's complained to me about it anyway. So the only times I've ever really seen it or heard about it is from barrels that were threaded that weren't previously threaded, then threaded for a suppressor. So I would say it's definitely something with the thread job. Okay. Uh, that's... Good possibility. You know, you don't have a square shoulder. Um, you didn't make that relief cut, so it's not mounting properly. You're off one way or the other. That could definitely affect the accuracy, but it's not the suppressor's fault. Right, that's where an alignment gauge comes into play. Uh, yeah. You really should check the alignment, and make sure that thing is centered up properly, if you have any doubts at all. Yeah, so I mean, on that note, you could put a muzzle brake on there and still get less accuracy because it wasn't threaded properly. So, you know, there's long range rifles out there, like, the, you know, Area 419 has their Maverick suppressor that's made for long range shooting. Mm -hmm. And it definitely does not decrease accuracy. We've, we've shot with that one quite a bit. Okay. And yeah. um, we don't have one here to show you, uh, but I'm sure Area 419 will be right on getting us to that, that sample. Uh, but yeah, so no, suppressors definitely do not decrease the accuracy of your firearm. Right, and UAR guys do not use a crush washer with your suppressor. You that's... probably already know that, but use shims if you have to clock it up. Yep. And same thing goes for the uh, quick detach brakes. Whenever you're attaching that muzzle device that the mm -hmm. suppressor mounts to, mount it directly to the shoulder, use shims, no crush washer, and you'll be good to go. Right, that way everything stays fair and square. So that myth's pretty much busted. Busted. All right. Well, if you disagree, if you've had different experiences with your suppressor on your firearm, let us know in the comments. We'd like to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smithbusters. Busters.